Trust me, Baba did not carry a boo. <laughs> anyway, she was like, eh, she no boo. <laughs> bro, I beg you. Kule, please, you need to cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro, like, trust me. <laughs> Hi, hi guys. Welcome back to another episode of Oshikoya Speaks. I'm still your host for another week on Oshikoya. <laughs> and so they were switching things up a bit, just a bit, just a little bit. So today, before we get into what we have planned, I have my favorite artists, my favorite songwriter, oh my God. singer, oh my, God. <laughs> my favorite everything. Oyadakpo. OMG. Oyadakpo official. One of the always got <laughs> Hi guys, what's happening? What's My name going is Ola Dakpo, on? aka Ola with the most. Ola with the most. If you don't know me, you're a Get ghost. Get to know. Mm. Did you say you're a ghost? I swear. <laughs> I used to say that when I was just talking about that. It's corny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm yeah. so dead. Like, so thank you today. Thank you for honoring my invites today. As simple as fuck. Yeah. Thank you for being the first guest on Gen Next. Oh my god. Thank so you. Thank Gen you Next. For, you know, having <laughs> so Gen Next is a new segment of a podcast where I just bring my favorites, you know, fast rising artists, fast rising creatives. If basically, people I believe in die, they just come and just well, <laughs> and you already know if you listen to if you you know, if you know me, if you listen to, if you see my tweets, if you see everything, you know that I love Adapo's music so much. Like, I'm literally constantly gassing him every day. Sometimes I DM him at like 2 a.m. I'm like, bro, <laughs> you bad. <laughs> I swear. At random well, times, I'm DMing him. I'm like, bro, you, man, you bad, you bad, you bad, you bad. No worry. Thank you. Oh my <laughs> but <God>. you bad. <laughs> <laughs> how are you how are you I just, today I just did man. I let's act like we've not been speaking for the past one hour I swear yeah, yeah. so like this is the first time I'm, I'm lying <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I did I and mean, I'm just like on work mode I, I mean, you're yeah, always on work mode you're literally constantly working constantly making beautiful you know, music and I love it it's so beautiful you, to you, see you know, because it's choice now no you choice actually you guys do what you gotta do that's <laughs> what I have to do man and I love it so much but first before we get into like you mm-hmm. let's talk what are you watching what are you listening to uh, what are you listening to watching <sighs> my favorite series like i don't watch everything finished I just, <laughs> ozark oh um, are you serious you watch ozark? Said, ozark, um, all of them um i think i was trying vikings out the new Valhalla. Oh, well, it's not going joe yeah. but then music wise which is you know because i'm more of a music person mm-hmm. i'm listening to all the new r&b mm. you know Caesar's Caesar's album is like, SOS. She's on it's unacceptable. You shouldn't be that How good. many songs again? 23? Yeah. Imagine. It shouldn't be that good. It's not it's not allowed. I think the it's album just is so beautiful. Is 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 new. It's, it's refreshing. Very fresh. It's very refreshing. That's the word. Fresh. It's very, very refreshing. refreshing. Very nice to listen to. It's, very, it's very just refreshing. so and it's, and, and it's it also has like there's a nice balance of the commercial effects mm, as well. Yeah, it's, fair. You know, and I really like that. I didn't think a song like Blind would be like that big. Yeah, <laughs> like I was like, I didn't know, think that I, I, would be I, I that. Think, I think it's the melody like that's sticking with people. The mm, melody and you know yeah. the fact that you can easily remember because there's something with songwriting. The, the less words you use, that can. Because mm. I always try to tell myself to use less words to say more. Mm. Because that way it's easier for people to comprehend, you know. Mm. Blind, blind, I can't blind, see you. Yeah, you, so, you get me. And there's um, this power in repetition. I don't know. Yes. It's so crazy. <laughs> as long as you're repeating something that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, <laughs> fizz. Yeah. But there's a power in repetition. I don't <laughs> yes, know, especially with like even Afro pop. Yeah, because we were not singing Arizo Compatriots when we were younger, yeah. over and over, not to remember it. <laughs> Fair you know, enough. You know, it's like it's a science that if you repeat something, it sticks. Yeah. You know, marketing is a repetition. Mm. The more times you see something, the more times it sticks. You whether about you, it, I guess. whether you, whether you, you know, like it or not, the more times you see it subconsciously, it just like registers. Yeah. So that's same with music. So I'm also listening to like um, Wasteland by mm. Yeah. I said, by Jesus. <laughs> Brain fires. <sighs> brain fires. Brain the fires. reason why I said Brian Stiller is because I'm a brain huge Brian Stiller fan. Well, that makes sense. Brian Stiller, like, made my... How old was I? I had, like, one of the worst, like, 
emotional traumas <laughs> when it comes to like a babe. Are you serious? In, I think when I was like 16, 17. Between that time, and he dropped it in 2015, 2016. Mm. That was around the time that... What album was that? What's the album? Trap Soul. Trap Soul. <laughs> Trap Soul is like the... Trap Soul is special. It's like, one of the most well-rounded albums in Hall of Fame. Like, R&B Hall of Fame. It's like... They, they cannot do anything. Touch you, it, they right, cannot I touch it. It's crazy. It's a beautiful uh, that, that project is crazy. Um, um, but, you know, give you on. Mm, are you serious? I love you. Like give you on. Are you serious? What do you mean? I, I, mean, like I don't really listen to give you on. Come there was only one babe said that. Like, I'll keep mentioning a babe said something. <laughs> throughout this. But like, one babe said like, <laughs> they, they, that one of the songs reminds her of, like it's just like how I am. That if I want to understand the type of person I am, yeah. Like, you know, just like song. human beings, I told my guy this yesterday, human beings, we have four parts to us. The parts, my dad used to always tell me mm. that we have the parts of ourselves that we we show people. Mm-hmm. Parts of ourselves we don't want to show people. Fair. The parts of ourselves people see that we don't know that they see about us. Mm. And the parts Real. of ourselves that these um, people see like I've lost track of it. Wait, parts of ourselves that we know, yeah, part of ourselves that we don't, that want, we them don't to want to see, yeah, the parts of ourselves that we know that we uh, don't want them to see, the parts of ourselves that people we see, people we see that we don't know that they see. <laughs> that's the that's even the most dangerous one, yeah. And the parts of ourselves that people see that they tell us that we know that, mm. like they are seeing, yeah. Fair, fair, fair. So if I wanted to get well rounded, basically, so if I wanted to get well rounded, you know, this is not myself. I should listen to Scarred. Mm. Give your own scars on the album. If you do, if you haven't listened to it, go and I check it out. To it. I, would, yeah. I don't it really was, listen to Give Young, can I? It's toxic. <laughs> 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 I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't want to accept that I'm toxic, but uh, uh, are you toxic though? I think. I think everybody is toxic to somebody. Fair enough. You know, toxic, so you know what fair it's, a pre- it's a perspective you know Success, exactly I, I think it's a perspective yeah I, I think I tweeted something to uh, like one time like sometimes you're the toxic one and you have to step it, like you have to step back yeah because like, you'll we'll be a hypocrite serious. if you're still being yeah. harmful or yeah. you know if you're the harmful person but how somebody, do you even realize that you're the toxic one though I think people just need to learn to be able to step out of themselves and like mm. Stand outside. And you know look. that's so funny because someone literally said the same thing to me. The same thing that like, you people need to learn to step out of yeah, themselves man, like, and just look at themselves from out, outside. Angle. Yeah, and just be like, oh, literally just yesterday. You know, you know, like just hey, yesterday. These things I'm seeing. <laughs> it's not. You get it's me? It's not really going. You know, <laughs> sometimes like if two three people are saying something, it's not like two three people know my business. Mm. But like if if something is being repeated to you in a certain way, because yeah. somebody has told me, I feel like I'm a very expressive person. But somebody yeah. has said like in some certain cases, I tend not to show emotion or something. Then I realized it's because. <laughs> There were some points in my life that I showed too much emotion. Too much emotions, and yeah. you know, I'm trying to make up for that because showing too much, people then know how to manipulate you, and you know, mm. all that. I hate being taken for granted. Fez, <laughs> he's not joking. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I fair thought. enough. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm sort of just listening to. To be fair, like I don't even know what I'm listening to. I'm listening to New Rema. I really like. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. I really like Reason You. Ah yes, I mm, really. That one's Holiday weird. jumped out to me. Holiday, I don't. So the thing, the reason why I don't really listen to Rema is mm. because I can't keep up too many words, bro. Like it's too ah, much. Really, I feel Rema like Holiday says, is very uh, digestible. Though. Rema says a lot of words. Even but reason you, there's something so special about it. It's like mm. I don't really fuck Rema's mm. music, mm. but there's just something so special. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, I'm listening to that. I'm That's listening it. to, um. Your unreleased, of course. <laughs> I listen to a lot of unreleased music. Watch out. A lot, a lot, a lot. Thanks. And um, but in terms of what I'm not really listening to music right now, can't lie, because mm. I'm just so busy. Meaning meaning that I think but today I must mention <laughs> man, Lujit Oh head. my god. This oh my morning god. Oh my god. I lost my <laughs> Oh my god. You know what? I before literally before we came on this set, I just said you guys, I'm going to I'm coming back to let you guys know what what Loje did is just unacceptable. But I'ma be back. Let me finish up my work for the day. I was telling Loje is insane. It's crazy. <laughs> How you I always tell him to his face. With Yahweh. You are insane. He's undeniably talented. <laughs> like, Bruh, that guy's range. The, the project is, is, is his scary. range. Like that's the word. I wrote something on it this morning. I'm just like his range. He's one of the most unique 
the most dynamic Afropop artist right, right now. now. His range is scary. It doesn't make sense. You shouldn't be that good. I think... And he's not doing too much. He's just I doing he's himself. Doing just I was reading his press release this morning be. where he said, he wrote something and he was just like, oh, he's not... On this album, he's not looking for... He's not even trying to make a hit. He just wants mm. to make music that he likes. He likes. And I'm like, bro, man, you're killing it. <laughs> you're killing it. And if you, and if you look closely... <laughs> There is a story. Yeah. He's he, writing. He wrote it there. He wrote it there. Writing um, is take, um, take I don't want time to, to hear my yeah, story. Yeah, like, like, his he's so writing cute. is impeccable. He's, he's, his writing, he's he, like, a great writer. Bro, you can tell that like, he used you, to man, pass bro, in school because he's so, yeah, his writing man, like, is so, he's, 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 he's brilliant. He's a think, brilliant writer. I was, I was telling Tolu that, you know, people would have been, I wouldn't say confused, but like, the Nigerian average is not be like ah, why is Loji giving me yeah, leader no. the next time you not give me Canada the next time you not give me Moto ah, what's going on I, can't, I don't know what to expect I'm, you know what I'm but like looking at it as, as, as a body, as of, a body work. of work yeah, it makes, makes so, so much, much sense. sense you feel me I feel Jinx. you that's I do. <laughs> what Jinx. I do is feel it, you it makes so much he's it's just mad. so talented and so I don't know I think that's one thing I respect about people like Luji. like mm. he's not trying to prove to anybody that he's he, in his lane man. he's doing it he's killing yeah, it and if you can't, if you catch up you catch up if you don't, if you don't catch I'm up, so sorry fuck you. you will catch up <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a choice you, you will like, catch up later cause, because he's making music that is going to stand the test of time in the next it. three years we're still going to be talking about you are still going to be jamming those songs Mona Lisa is one of those songs, man. Like, I did just original. Yes, I swear. Maybe just they move. I swear. But yeah, I'm right. listening to. I haven't really gotten time to actually get into the project. I'll do that tonight. Mm, but me too. I I've only had one listen. I've, I've listened. Away. Yeah, exactly. I've listened once. I've listened twice actually this morning, and then mm. I got the thing. I got the project yesterday. I said Tolu called me this morning. <laughs> have you listened? <laughs> I'm like, bro, Tolu no Daniels, way. you have a problem. Bro. Tolu is always causing pro- like I think he's legit. Legit is will give him. They just be I paying black. him for special like, PR. Cause bro, free PR, right? He's always doing it with ten thousand followers. He, he, lo- he loves that. He yeah. loves Legit so much. It's so he cute. Loves it. I was watching. I just finished watching Bel Air. Have you watched it? Bel Air. Is the the new one yeah. like there's a new Will Smith yeah. and that, yeah. so it's a dramatic like it's a drama dramatic version. drama version of the series mm, and it's I just need to try it out it's so beautiful like yeah. God I'm not you don't understand I don't really watch movies so when I watch mm. when I sit down to actually watch films it's just like I'm bored mm. I finished the series in two days well it's just one season and then three episodes of the new season mm. I finished it in, I started like I started like in the afternoon I finished it the next afternoon. Stupid. Yeah, like I started on like Friday. I finished on Sunday. That's a hard. That means it's it's, it's just too good. And I wasn't stopping. I, I woke up on Sunday morning, the day of elections. Mm-hmm. How was elections for you? Though? We'll get into that. I woke up the day of elections. I first said, my cousin said, let's go. What's going? On? Yes, mm-hmm. let's go and watch this pin. Man, we watched that throughout the day. I wasn't. I was off my phone throughout the weekend. I was just. I couldn't even focus because elections were just drained. But yeah, I was, was on yeah. that. It's so beautiful. It's been a good and just seeing person. someone, just seeing people actually think. I think As, what mm-hmm. what struck me the most about the series is the fact that like Fresh Prince of Bel Air is just so iconic that you don't yeah, think anything, anything can, can outdo it. Mm. But even the way Will Smith talks about the, he, the he, he, you can he tell that it. like it's just so good. Mm. So it's now it's like a drama series and all of that. You know, the first one was like comedy and all of that, but like. This one is drama, so it's actually very interesting to just watch. It and you should. If you I, I, watched, I, I you have it. seen, like you know, because I'm, I'm, believe it or not, I'm, I'm very into film and yeah. into music. Like I love film. movies, I love mm. films. Film, not all those rubbish <laughs> that we used to do. Proper, you know, make <laughs> good, like make your art and you know be intentional mm. with it. Do you understand? So I, I really appreciate good movies. Mm. So I have. Like if like a whole thing on Instagram that like feeds me, mm, yeah, you know. Fair. So I've seen a lot of like things about Bel Air and you know. No, it's really good. Yeah, it's really but, good. You guys check, check it out. out. If you haven't watched it, watch it. I'll check it. It's out. really good. I'm not one to out. like overhype stuff, so, but uh, no, no, no. It's I like. Good. I like. I like your, it's good. It's good. It's good. I, I should like your. Taste. You should watch it. Yeah. No. But yeah, um, how are elections for you? Man, the country is really crazy right now. Really, I think I think it was a I very depressing time. It was a very depressing time. It was really really just the the um. The how I say it, she spirit. Yes, the spirit of the youth seems to seem to have been crushed <laughs> right now, um, and people are trying to either move on or be stuck about it. Yeah. Or I re- I'm really, for me, yeah. You know, I, I feel like I'll catch some bullets for this, but 
I believe democracy doesn't exist. It doesn't. And I feel like, I I tweeted something recently. I I said, so actually this is funny because I actually Mm -hmm. saw it in Bel Air. (laughs) That they said this. (laughs) What What I'm about to say. Uh Um, the what's it called? The system is not broken. Mm. It's is doing exactly what the system was designed to that do. That is exactly what it's supposed to do. do it's not broken. Why do you think somebody at the top echelons of power will give you a choice because you put Tom Brink on paper? Be serious now. I feel it's These really people are sad. Worth but trillions of dollars. Bro. It's sad. But they it's don't sad care truth. about you. Like like. The the best leaders do do care about the people. There has to be a balance. But like not every not every country is that lucky. And sadly enough, like even sorry, but even Nigeria. just looking at it from like a country <laughs> perspective, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. even just bring it back to like let's even just bring it back to like music. Even in the industry, record labels like they I'm just really, as a record they don't really, like you but know, at the end of the day, everybody's only doing what is benefit like, what is going to benefit, benefit them. them. Like so, let's be <laughs> honest. Yeah, it, let's. I like how you made the analogy towards the music industry because in the music industry, the only way you move up as an artist is if you have leverage. Yeah. Do you understand? Of course. What leverage does a citizen in a country have over somebody else? The only that way is, yeah. you, ca- you can have leverage on any government is if you are a heavy taxpayer. Fair enough. Do you understand? If you are a Tedola or something. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Tedola can ask to sit with Buari. Who are you that you are working in Oshodi and you think <laughs> that you have... Do you understand? It's like, sad, but it's the truth, it's, man. It is what it is. You know, like, is. you know, you can shoot me for political art party, but like, trust it's, me, it's a hard to swallow. It's hard, it's, but but I, I, I just have hope. Yeah, there's... I mean, like... You know? What's his name? Peter B, shout out to my goods. <laughs> yeah, my for goods sure, man. I'm not going to endorse giving, anybody, but... He's giving, like... like it's, it's, it's he's very... definitely been able to... I was watching his thing yesterday and he was just able to give, like, some sort of hope. Like, this mm. fight is not a fight that is going to end in four years. It's never. Years. It could probably last our We have such a long last, way our, to go. We might not even be able to experience it, the betterment of Nigeria. Or, you know? But, like, everybody's... At the end of the day, everybody's fighting for, like... Yeah, I, I, I do. I, I, I hoped he won. Not like because the reason why I would have hoped Peter would be won or would win is, you know, people like it would make people feel like they had power in their hands. Yeah. You know? Like it would give them a, a new some look at life. Like, if you got that hope from something, you can always, you know, there would be a difference. The air would smell different in Nigeria. Yeah. You would walk out and some people would be smiling. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? It would just be a new like ray of hope. But then, yeah. you know, life I was in, is never... I was in Accra recently, mm-hmm. like sometime, any of last year. Mm-hmm. And then this, we went, I went to one, what's it called? What's the thing? Yeah, it's one arcade. Like this. Okay, okay, okay. And mm-hmm. we're just chilling and all of that. And then my friend that lives in Ghana, he was like, um, he said, um, people in this place they are just angry this period because their uh-huh. economy has gone up so, like uh-huh. their economy has crashed a lot of things are going on yeah in Accra mm. this was in December okay in December um two months sorry in January I went back to Accra I went to, and literally everybody was smiling I was like ah many people said that I was just like oh the money everything is back to normal like everything is going back to normal I'm like this was in the space of how many weeks do you understand that These is a government that, that understands... That actually pays attention... Do you understand? To the citizens. You can so, be... You can... Like, democracy is for capitalists. Do you understand? Real. The biggest capitalist... <laughs> that is, is so real. Do you understand? <laughs> but, you know, if you are a capitalist with a conscience, you need, and even with long-term, like, business Man, IQ, yeah. you understand that to capitalize on people, on a people properly, they need to be happy. Mm-hmm. They need to be willing to work. Yeah. They need to be willing to... Bridge the gap. A government cannot make money on a people that are not ready to work, work for you. For, yeah, fair Do you understand? And that's something that I feel like I Which wish that the Nigerian government would understand. Do you understand? Would like, understand. You cannot ask somebody that gets. Do you understand? You like, can't ask me for I, tax <laughs> and. Do you get? You know, like, bro. Like, so it's really sad. It's really. It is well, what it is, man. That's the thing, man. I was just like, I had Please. to disconnect. We have to move. That yeah, is problem. That's what it is. That's the like when people were dragging Rema. I said, what do you want this boy to do? So people can go to work, but Rema cannot post his song. Do you understand? Like, bro. Like, what do you leave want him bro. to do? Like, like, like everybody These are the people that even have the, like, the most to lose, though. Like, honestly, you know, even the Dragon Burner boy and stuff. Like, Even Dragon Burner, like, that was also another conversation I really wanted to have. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't get this. I get that, like, Burner has put himself in a place where he should you know, say some things, but mm-hmm. you can't force anybody to say anything. You know, well, there's something I told my friend. Um, how does it invalidate my opinion? <laughs> because I did not post it on social media. Honestly. Because 
we could and be social speaking. media is a facade and everybody needs yes, to just sir. wake up they to think that. it's real like they mm. think if you don't speak on social media that oh you've not aired your, your, your opinion but we could be speaking here with no mics um on and nobody knows that Burner Boy is here and he's telling me that, bro, I feel like this is... This, that, yeah. It's not until Don't somebody... Don't call him... Just like, like, it's hypocritical to tell anybody that because they did not say something, say something for you to see or hear that they are wrong or something. It's, Nigga, like, you can't sit in some high chair and tell it's so weird. Like, like, when I saw the conversation, bro. I'm just like, why are we having this conversation in the first place? Remember didn't say anything. Okay, cool. Can we just move on? Like that nigga has done so much on the under G. Like that's... he has to me, oh, he has done his part because at the end of the day, the easiest way for him to communicate is through the music. Music is to sensitize and he says, you. And he says everything he needs to say in the music. And somehow people are turning it into he's only he's using it for he's using it for to his own benefit. A, and I'm just I have, like I have a question. Eh? I don't know if I'm wrong, but do you think that fella voted ever? <laughs> Let's not just talk about it. Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. Did fella Wait, votes? what the hell? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, let's be honest. Did fella ever... Like, well, please, uh, don't you. Let's let they should, Anybody, <laughs> they should comment. I would really love to have that conversation. No, because... Somewhere. Just drop it in the comments. Do you think fella actually would say it? I'd, trust me, Baba did not carry Ibu. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she be like... Eh, she no boo. <laughs> Bro, I beg you. Kule, please, you need to cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro, like... Trust me, <laughs> it's impossible. I feel you. Oh my no, god, that bro. is so funny. Trust so, me. what even happened on day? This is so out. This is so out of context. But I just so anytime somebody just says something about fella, I just find it so funny. So my boss was talking to me one day, uh-huh. and we're like, he was just saying we're just talking about um artists and everything. Like, he just said, um, fella is vibes. Do you ask him on any playlist? I was like, huh? Like what? Are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> but that was the funny anytime I remember anytime Please. anybody says anything about Fela I just laugh because that is the funniest I'm thing he has dying, said bro. it's so that so man crazy was man. serious in my world didn't yeah, care just about doing his own thing at the end of the day thing, telling people what, what they felt like they should have done and that's but, the thing I feel like people just because somebody says something because a popular figure says something mm. he has to go no let's relax this same Brother boy that we're talking about is the person that he apparently shot somebody or he's yeah, he's jiggy. It's like at the end of the day. What are you expecting from him? That guy is a gangster. I feel like people forget. That guy is I mean, shouldn't be forgetting. He has admitted like it in his song that he threw somebody off a pavement <laughs> in the UK. I think it was either in prison or something. Yeah. That person might probably be dead today. Don't you understand? Even you know, when I like, use his boots, he kicked somebody at the show or some shit. See, so I'm just like, G, that, why you expect? Like bro, when I'm thinking about politics and music, I'm not thinking about an artist like Bonaboy. I'm mm, so sorry. Like I'm thinking but about he the has files. Sort of. Yes. Do you get? Like I'm thinking about exactly. people. Like, I'm thinking about files. I'm thinking about David. I'm not thinking mm. about Bonaboy. When I'm I think about it's Bonaboy. because first of all, the position of Bona is in Afrobeats and in the world at this point in time is arguably the biggest. Oh, yeah, one of the biggest. Know? Yeah, I feel you. but. And and the fact that he is somebody who is not afraid to air his opinion, mm-hmm. but you know, it now seems like somebody who is not afraid to speak about anything is mm-hmm. not speaking about some certain things. But he's not speaking about those things because they are not things that coco to him. To him, like if he was politically apart apartic before being a musician, mm-hmm. he shouldn't change because yeah, he is because one. He's a Do you understand? Yeah. So and. You know, he knows the consequences of ever saying something like that because mm-hmm. there are some a lot of people that he has influence over. He doesn't want to influence you to make any decisions because of the type of person. Your, my choice should not be your choice because mm-hmm. you look up to it. I just wish he didn't you know? say anything because just him yeah, saying yeah, that's that's one thing. So I, Bernard, but I love I you, man. Yeah, like bro, I'm your biggest fan. I'm not lie to you, bro. If you check your DMs, I have an epistle. If you check Twitter, <laughs> there's a letter I made to you after like <laughs> listening to Love That Mini. I swear you can. Are you serious? You like Love That Mini? You enjoy the project? I, I cried. I, used... I so have com- never cried. I'm so I confused. Never, <laughs> I have never cried. I've never cried listening to any musical album. Before. Why did you cry listening to Love okay. That Me? <laughs> I feel like the point at which I was at that point, like in my life. Yeah. Say what you want. You know, I've been to the I've done this, clinical, many streams. Blah, blah, blah. I'm a struggling artist. Mm. Just I'm independent. Just that. There were things he said. And things and how he said them English about his own life and how he was being vulnerable in the because I pay attention because I love songwriting I pay mm-hmm. attention to the lyrics very very personally mm-hmm. and at the end of I listened to all the I think it's thirteen songs or something at when after Love Damini and everything I was holding it at Wild Dreams yeah Wild Bad Dreams like dreams. I have like 
I personally like that's if you don't have wild dreams, you probably song. will not cry. But I have like some of the wildest dreams in this life. You could tell well, me yeah, that. That's actually, I would understand Jonathan, why you would cry. Jonathan, and like he was talking about how if I do ninety nine one, you go ninety nine um, good, good, you go remain yeah. one. Mm-hmm. All those small things. Small things. Yeah, then he yeah. said, um, "How bad could it be? Like I've I I, I was severely depressed in twenty twenty. Mm. So it was a very crazy year for me, which is where I got the inspiration to make that project. Yeah, yeah. listening to it. so that um, I I was in a very bad place, but literally how I got out of it was like how bad could it be? Mm. Like to actually forge ahead from all of this. I wasn't getting out of bed. My my dad my dad isn't someone who shows emotion. I could see my dad genuinely scared <laughs> for me that time. I, was I used to. You know, my mom used to cry to bed mm. with me every night. I wasn't crying, but because my mom is crying, I'm crying. I just had no zeal for anything. Yeah. I wasn't, I would not leave bed. If I would not eat the whole day, if they not bring food for me, I would even eat the food. <laughs> just, and that was how bad it was. But like, I had to realize that I needed to like move my mind from all of that and focus on something else, mm. you know, channel my energy elsewhere Somewhere and understand else. that. You know, how bad could it be? You get me like, it's bad now, but like, Kinda if you're at the bottom, bad. there is nowhere to there go. There is no but, bottom. Uh. But, but, <laughs> you understand? Like, yeah. was, you understand me? So, you. listening to the That's whole thing really. and understanding that this is probably stuff that this guy has been through been as through. well. It just, <laughs> I've never cried about it. Mm. I had never cried throughout the whole yeah, thing that was happening is. to me. I had never cried about it once. I had almost, I, I, I even had thoughts of like, Jumping out of a moving vehicle on the express. I'm serious. I, I did not. Of course, I, you after, did not. Right after, right after I was like, ah, sure you didn't whine me. Like, why are you good? But just and it was that bad. But like, that project just made me like relieve a lot mm, of things yeah. and be thankful for where, where I was at. So it was like listening to everything, then getting to that point. That I was. Mm-hmm. My guys could not understand. I was crying yeah. to the point I was like, I feel I was you. like why am I still crying? I feel you. Like I walked I into really I went into like the um went into the toilet so that my guys would not see me. That was how bad it was. Damn. Anyway, um I wish Bonaba just stopped caring about all of these people on Twitter. Yeah, Create but, a Bona account. Yeah, I, but that's I'm the serious. Thing. It'll, I feel it'll, like, it'll, be, it'll be therapeutic to just I go there and like, type anything you like. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like the thing with Bernard, like I really respect Bernard's music but I don't mm-hmm. relate to him as a person like mm-hmm. you. I wouldn't relate to him as a person because mm-hmm. Some of the things that he says, I can't, I can't really relate. But a lot of things, like I really like depth when it comes to music. So I would, I love yeah. Bernard. Like I would, when it comes to that, I love Bernard. But when it comes to like just saying things, like yeah. he just doesn't know how to. He has address. no sieve. And I don't, I can't stand. I don't yeah, care if no you like be like. If you be like, I don't care. <laughs> I have an he issue no with. Sieve. People that just don't know how to adjust, especially when you're in the public eye. Mm, like, mm. people are looking up to you. Is that not mm. enough to just... I get that. Sometimes it, it's a lot of pressure. I for understand sure. that. Like, you just want to be yourself. For and sure. I respect him for just being himself. Mm. Cool. But if you are being yourself, there's no need. That's why I was like, I wish he didn't say anything. Mm. Like, about that whole... About the whole politics issue. Mm. The whole um, uh, election issue. I wish he didn't anything? say anything. I wish mm. he just left it as, okay, mm. I didn't say anything. What next? Uh, because uh, I feel like just... Sometimes I just don't... like. I'm so sorry, but like sometimes Nigerians are not to be addressed because yeah, so, the there is no point. It's like you don't be going account, on and on and, and on with people that don't mind. even understand you know, where you're at. You're never in your perspective. You so it's me. just really, really crazy. You know, I, mean, I, I just, I'm a super fan, so <laughs> anything, anything. I I feel you. <laughs> so, what's your biggest driving force in life across like life, across different aspects of life? There's, there's school, there's music, there's, mm-hmm. you know. I think. Biggest driving force. I'm I'm trying to just feed my family, man. Mm. I think <clears throat> not like my family can feed right now. Yeah, I feel you. Like, Popsy is well to do per se. Nobody you know, just chilling. Everybody's <laughs> chilling. I never I don't think I grew up lacking. But mm. I know what it's like not to have, you know. So I have like a really good perspective on that. Um, yeah. Driving force, I th- I think my driving force would be I feel like anybody anybody's driving force should be fear. Hmm. Like you should be afraid, but not crippling fear, mm. like a fear of failing. Yeah, you know, I have 
Definitely. goals. I have things I'm trying to do, achieve. things I want to achieve, dreams I think uh, that I want. Wild my, dreams. Oh, yeah, wild dreams, you feel me? That I want, you know, how I would like my children to, you know, yeah. um, experience life, you know, and I can't do that if I don't achieve those goals. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? So the fear of failing at that is definitely, ah, bro, what are you doing? Why are you wasting your time? You feel me? Was, what are you, you know? doing? You know, and, and, and it's definitely a, motiva- a motivation with the music as mm. well because I've learned that I can't, I can't be better than I was yesterday if I'm not being me. You know, mm. if I'm trying to just fake things, especially like with the music I'm making, which is why I, my music is very personal. Mm-hmm. My therapy for me is writing a song about it or yeah. feeling a type of way I'm going to the studio. The studio there was a song I made which day. Like every time I, sometimes I, I'll be in a bad mood, you know, mm. and the bad mood started while I'm in the studio. I feel so irritated and I'm at my coming. I just want to leave there mm-hmm. and go home but sometimes I force myself into just finding ways to channel it into what I'm trying to create and beautiful hooks come out of mm-hmm. it you know of course you understand so mm-hmm. like there's a song I have like Blessings I feel like it's one of my favorite on release yeah, I don't think you've heard no, it no but like yes. I, yeah yes. so like I was like every disappointment is a blessing yeah of course that's basically the that's it that's know? life man you know like, at so, the end of the day just it, it, life is, is again life is is a we live a life of perspective. Like, it depends mm. on how you look at it. It's like, mm. you can see some things, like you said, you can be at your bottom and you're just like, so I would say that like, over the weekend, I was just not in the right headspace. Like, mm. I was very overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. A lot of things were just happening at the same time and it can yeah. get crazy. Mm-hmm. So I just put my phone away and I'm just like, I don't want to do that. I just want to watch what I'm watching and just enjoy my life and be. just chill. But at some point, obviously, after I'm done watching this, I have to go back to my room and at the end of the day, it's just you and your thoughts. That's up. It's just you and your thoughts. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy that I would <clears throat> say this, but like, even because you're here, like I was listening to um, Situation, mm-hmm. one of the songs on the projects that you sent me that I have. <laughs> you guys have not heard. <laughs> yeah, I was listening to that song and I'm just like, this is, this is, exactly how I'm feeling. Like, you don't understand. Nobody gets it. Don't <laughs> you act like, don't you, act like you know my situation. Right. Nobody right. understands it. And that's no matter right. how much I want you, like, I would call, one thing I know how to do, I love to talk, obviously. Mm, and like, express yourself. And have a podcast. That. Mm-hmm. I love to just, just let people know that this is how I'm feeling. No matter how I am feeling, even if I'm not talking to the person that has upset me or whatever, I would just want to, um, my, like, I'm not Your feeling opinion, great. And sure. once I say something, so I that's the thing, that. I feel like, that's how I am. That's once I say something, it's done. Like mm-hmm. if I'm angry and I say you piss me off, I'm not. I would by the time I walk out and come it's back, I've forgotten that I was even angry. I'll come and just shooting within fights. That's how I am. So even with like other aspects of life, that's how it sits for me. But like at the end of the day, it's only you and your thoughts, and you just nobody can understand it. Like nobody can get it. You have except to, you. you. Have to, so you have to find yeah. a way to come out of that that box that, and I'm like I'm not about to feel like this throughout next week like the, a new month is about to start I don't want to be in a situation like how bad can you be <laughs> and it's not like you know when you're just really not you're just overwhelmed it's not like anything is happening where everything is happening like there's just so much you have to deal with and I was just in that space over mm-hmm. again so I just found a way to you know just listen to music I think that's obvious. music is therapy you just Definitely. music is very therapeutic so I was listening to that song and I just I was just crying because it's like, yeah. like, fuck, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck, man. I'm At the sorry. end of the day, nobody gets it. So I'm I have sorry. this thing that I do because sometimes I just write and it's called Tears for Thoughts. It's just a thing that I just, I've been... That's amazing stuff. Uh, so I've been since, I've been doing it since COVID. It was just a way that like I got through COVID because during COVID, I had exams. I had my final year exams my last exams I need to get fuck out of Babcock University <laughs> this is the only way I'm gonna do it so I had exams I was struggling because I re- I studied computer science and I was struggling with school I really didn't like it but I had to pass so I could get fuck out of that place in four years so it's just like I started tears for thought so when I'm like really 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 down I just come up with a random story in my head and mm. just write it down once I do that I just feel better so I noticed that that was a way that like I used to deal with a lot of things and I tried to do that, but it wasn't working. So I listened to the song. I just, and when I finished crying, like, let me tell you that. 
when I finished crying, I went to the bathroom, I took a shower, I went back outside to go and continue watching what I was watching. And it was like, nothing, nothing happened. happened. I just needed to, to cry. Like spell that shit. <laughs> I swear. You just need to like... Ex- like you just... I swear. <sighs> it's just too much. I know. I know. <laughs> You just need to breathe sometimes. It's, it's just like, like... I know it's like... Man, life can just get so crazy and it gets overwhelming and people mm-hmm. don't even know what you're feeling. Like recently, two days ago, I, like I said, I was battling over the weekend so I wasn't really doing anything. I was getting lots of texts, lots of messages, things that I had to deal with but I just wasn't doing it. So like, something happened, one thing led to another. Two days ago, somebody was complaining about me not showing up, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, if you knew what I had to go through this to weekend, you would not even get to past even be weekend. having to work, to be talking to you right now. You would not even be saying that. But like at the end of the day, it is how it is. would she know? She's not yeah. in my head. You get so it's just Everybody like knows your situation, man. people just need to just relax, man. Everybody don't don't just pour your anger on whoever and just sure. just take life as it comes. Be kind. It's something I I I, I, <clears throat> I had to learn as well the hard way in the sense that you know. There are, there are multiple ways that you could that you could take yourself out of a position to try and see people's perspectives. Mm. One thing I always tell myself is you can never expect anybody to take or understand or react in a situation the same way you would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure. would because mm-hmm. uh, you're not be like, ah, if anybody has not... There's some that people always say, nobody is giving me the same energy I'm giving them. Some, some say, well, it's yeah. not their fault. You don't yeah. know... What they've been through in well, life, we, how I they even grew to, up, even in that moment, how, do you understand? In as to how moment. they would react in that moment, do you understand? And I've been a hypocrite as well in some situations yeah, for because sure. you know I'm also being emotional about mm-hmm. something. I'm exactly. just pissed. Do you understand? But I've I've learned the hard way to give people like the benefit of doubt. Yeah. You know, I can't know what you are going through. I can't like expect mm-hmm. it. There was something I wanted to say when you were talking about um, situation. No, no, before then. Uh, something like that, like about you, uh, you journaling and yeah, you know, your yeah, thoughts yeah. and all that. It's something my dad used to tell me. Um, is <clears throat> that I should always do something called he. There's an abbreviation for it, but it's never ending self search, mm. looking inward with yourself and trying to um give yourself like score yourself mm. in a way as to be behaviors that you feel like are bad for you, thoughts that you think that are bad for you, and how you can move on from them mm. and all of that. I'm not the greatest greatest at it, you know, but it's stuff that I always try to... We all mm. do it in different ways. Different ways. Like, you know, your the tears of... Just riots. That's yeah. crazy, man. It's crazy I do <laughs> Oh that. my God, there's so much... There's, there's the power in journaling, guys. <clears throat> it's, it's I don't crazy. know. I'm, it's crazy I, that I, I need to... I, mean, I, I, feel, I feel like... The power, there's yeah, so much power it's, in it's just amazing, writing. Amazing. And I'm oh. so happy that like I've been able to develop this skill over time that's like good. just to write it's just there is so much power in just writing because it's at the end of the day songs. nobody knows <laughs> nobody knows songs. what's going on in your yeah, exactly same thing with songs I think that's why I connect so much with like you said songwriters because it's just like huh what are you going through to even be able to pen that <laughs> down <laughs> it's like it's, it's crazy it's crazy but we thank God we thank God on a scale of 1 phone. to 10 how much do you say you, how much do you say you like music because I know like, a lot of people listen to music and they don't really, they don't okay, really so like, like music or, or like music like music like listening to music or music yeah listening to no not making music okay, listening to, to music me. yeah consuming ah, music on a scale of 1 to 10 <laughs> yeah are you serious listening to a lot of music it has to be good music I'm I'm not easily impressed Fizz. <laughs> that's just real there. so I, I I sort of started like I think that's why when I'm making music I, I try to make music for myself I'm mm. first jam the lie. <laughs> <laughs> out of my own music you feel me but usually I, at first I don't like playing my music around people mm. are you serious I don't know why <laughs> and also after I've released songs I feel like I've given my yeah. baby to people yeah people, it's a no lot of people say that, that yeah, it's no longer they mine don't, yeah. do you understand but I listen to a lot of, all, all, a lot of my own release stuff mm. um, but I listen to a lot of soothing R&B. Yes. There's this thing that um, what's her name? It's a Spotify thing that he did. Um, so she did a cover for Do For Do For Love. Who's that? Oh, you do, do for love. I'm trying to remember her name. I'll figure out remember her name in a few. But, you know, um, if it's not Afrobeats, you know, if it's not Logis Project, if it's not Holiday by Rema, <laughs> there's I this do. guy. There's this guy <laughs> that you need to listen to. Who? Emma Onega. Oh, check. I don't have one. Bro. That guy, is, that guy is one of the baddest. Like, the way he delivers mm. is unseen. 
How imagine if Buster Rhymes was doing Afrobeats. Afrobeats. Are you serious? I would check him out, definitely. <laughs> that's how I you, love listening to new music. That's like, how, that's how I, you I don't know. When music. I discover a new artist that I like, it's just like I I even I would DM you, it, bro. Ah, ah, <laughs> you no, 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 no. I, I love listening to new music so much. I and him are set to work. He sent me a bit. I didn't know he produced as well. The guy is insane. Like, I love talented people, man. Like I'm I'm going to work with him very soon. I've already written the um the book song, and yeah. all of that. Like for sure. So the person I was talking about was Snow Allegra. Oh, okay. She did a, this thing for um, cover for Do For Love. Okay. What you won't do, oh, do for yeah. love. You mm-hmm. I listen to it every day in the shower. <laughs> you know, I guess it starts my money. Starts some money. That's great. So that's my money. I think I have a, I don't think I have a like routine. Starts your money, comes, Yeah. I haven't gotten one yet. Some, I would listen to worship, Sha. Like I would listen to, um, I listen to lots of worship. At, at some like, point, I, if I thought it was my start in the morning, so. no, that's I don't even know. That's my you know starts in the morning, afternoon, <laughs> the night. That was like start, that was like go, like I'm in the shower. <laughs> hey, you get me? Like I was like I'll first be so full. If I thought, the drums you don't coming. understand. It's so mm. is is it gets it's crazy to the point where every time I get with my friends, so mm-hmm. my friends suffer this thing a lot. Every time I listen to new music. I, mm. I'm like, you people need to hear this song. <laughs> when you get to Baby Amoji, you guys need to hear this song. <laughs> so, Moji's birthday was a couple of days ago. Okay. And we were together. I was like, guy, you need to hear this song. I started playing it. She's like, ah, who is this? I'm like, oh, I was like, okay. that I love crazy. that song so much. That like, crazy. it's crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy. crazy. When I heard it, when Salute, Salute sent me the link, actually, because mm-hmm. he had played some songs in the studio. I'm like, mm-hmm. it, I, I heard this song. I was okay, like, okay. I texted him. I was like, guy, I need to. I need jam, that project. Bro, 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 I need bro. to jam this project. So he sent it to me. And then I was listening to it. I think that was the third song in the project. It comes right yes. after. Yeah, it's the third song in the third project. Song. I, said, I said, I took a screenshot. I said, Tolu, this is the one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. Tolu said, yes, I know. I said, yes, this that's, is the one. That's, that's this is, it, I hadn't even gone through the project. I said, Tolu, this is the one. Yeah, bro. That, Man, that's, it's that's that the first is, single. I can't wait for everybody to hear it. Uh, it's, you know crazy. that I'm not gassing it. And I'm still going to, I'm going to cut out this It's screen. going to be cinematic put it as hell. It's, it's like, crazy. It's crazy. I'm excited. I love that song. And I wrote that song in, I wrote the hook in 20, 20. Are you serious? I think early 2020. Damn, what are you going through? Broke your ass. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. 2020 was a year. I'm so tempted to tell everybody the name of this project, but I'm not going to no, do no, that. No, no, no. It's fine. No, no, no. It's I want to do that. Not today. It's fine. Because 2020 was like half an half, like six months where, oh my God, yes. Rosie, oh Rosie. my God. And it can get the so next dark so one, it was The next three months, dark, then the last two months were like, I'm trying to yeah, get myself, yourself. you know? But it was it was a very you know testing mm. year. I love that, and you came out of it, and that's what's important, man. Yep. That's all yep. that's yep. important. So of course you have to do schoolwork as well, and that's ah. so sad. Ooh. I've not entered campus this year. That's and it's like I two months to in. School. Like two months in, I don't even serious? like my projects. Well, so me and him are not guys. I don't even. I don't like that man. Really, really slide us this last. I'm crying. Thing, but like, how do you manage to balance all of this? How do you do that? It's, it's nature it's, God. It's, it's all on nature God. Like, because I, I I don't know. I really don't know. I'm studying engineering, man. Like, are you serious? I know that you were, I don't know. I studied something crazy. And <laughs> from what I, from, I swear, it was, I don't know who told me this thing, but I feel like, I, ah, I don't want to blame crazy. Aisha, but I really don't know. But <laughs> I think it's Aisha that said that you're in the first class. You're in the first class. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> Aisha. I'm not sure about Aisha though, but I'm very no, sure it was somebody in that but, studio. But I, I used to be that guy though. I used I just, to be, you know, ha, ah, I have to do this, do that. <laughs> but now, nah, man. Not that I guy mean, anymore. School, school has come. School but, has come. But I'm trying my best, man. I feel like my friends around me are like yeah. the, the, the main reason why. But how is engineering? Is that not tough? Not I have easy. a friend that is studying easy. engineering in Canada and he's so depressed. <laughs> It's not easy. Uh, definitely, it's different abroad, though. <laughs> <laughs> let's just, let's get that let's out get of the way. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> like, imagine my projects, the name of my project, like, the my family project is yeah. Acoustic Levitation in Time and I don't even know what that domain. means. Domain. Like, don't worry. <laughs> it's as complicated as it sounds. <laughs> so, like, it's, 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 it's a it's lot, crazy. man. I'm, 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 you know, blessed. I'm to, like, hopefully, this year, I'm out of there. Like, mm, that's grace. Whatever happens this year, <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. I swear, I'm because it's so crazy. Like you have to always just deal with that, and then every time, every single time, it's crazy. Like it was, so one crazy thing. 
I almost thought my Ugandan shoe last year was mm. going to be doing exams. If oh, it was okay. doing exam, I would have left. You are a nuisance, I swear. Now, God just said them, say they move on to New Year. I'm dying. You're it was a supposed, nuisance. It was so, like, I, I thought it was going to be like December something because we ended the exams, I think, I don't know, December 12, 15. Mm. Then I traveled 28. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah, you went late in the year. Yeah, actually. late in the year. But if they had put that thing in between, <laughs> that was my ticket to drop out. <laughs> You're a nuisance, I swear. But, but, you know, God is good. God is actually so great. God is honestly. good. You know, everything just lined up in a nice way. Yeah, man. So I have a funny story to tell you guys. I'm I'm going to tell you the story as well. Yeah. It's about you, but I'm very sure you didn't even realize. So one day yeah. we were in the <laughs> studio. <laughs> uh, that poor KSS. A lot of people were in the studio that day. We were recording. Mm-hmm. I was making music. This is the second song on the project. What's that song? The second. Yeah. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Mm. Yeah. So we're making the song. I was it's, there when they were actually the first song. But yeah, the that's song, the first. The, the, the first, first track is an interlude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the first, <clears throat> first the second song, song yeah, yeah on the project. Mm-hmm. Ah. I was going in, was recording, was making songs. KSS, KSS is a producer. Shout out to him. He's a badass producer. Mm-hmm. Then he was, he then he did something on the, on his computer. And then he cut. Say, don't cut on time. Say, it's cut. I say, ah, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, it was so oh, funny bro. because he, like, you were recording. Mm-hmm. You, he had taken down, he had, some like, things, taking yeah, down some stuff. Down, yeah. You were trying to figure out some mm-hmm. shit. Next thing he did this, this, that. He cut it. He said, "Hey, don't cut it." <laughs> it like, was this switch up for me. I'm like, like relax. Well, well, no. The thing about me is like, I, I, I can come off like very like direct. Yeah. And, you know this thing. You feel me? But he all he immediately understood what I was talking about. Yeah. Like, me, I, I when I'm in the studio, mm-hmm. I don't pick up my phone. Mm-hmm. I'm not. You know, I'm. It's all good vibes, but. There is a zone that we get into. Yeah. Do you understand? Like, and anything can. It's like a flowing stream. Yeah. If you cut, cut it, it, I can <laughs> never get back <laughs> to that. I feel you. you know. So, <clears throat> and that's something that producers that I work with, like, like when I'm prime or James that are working at the more or very well. Yeah. Do you understand? Once something is recording, it's until I tap somebody on the shoulder. That's you know. You do you understand? <laughs> prime will not even tell you. You might even be done, and prime will say. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> give me vibes? You get me. So, but but that day, KSS is more oh, done chop chop yeah, chop chop next chop, chop. quick, bro. <laughs> Relax. The, the, the icing on the cake of this song might be after <laughs> yeah. the next two seconds when I don't know what I'm doing. Do you mm-hmm. understand? So until I feel like I'm not in that zone anymore. Yeah. Just you know, and I feel like artists artists should like try and channel themselves in that way so that's well. where I was bringing it to. that's mm-hmm. actually why I brought up that conversation mm-hmm. so obviously I saw that and I'm like that is so insane but I would understand why you would like spaz like mm-hmm. that's like mm-hmm. don't do that relax mm-hmm. I feel like it takes a certain level of what's the word what's that word you mean like application mm-hmm. to the music mm-hmm. before you know that like Bro, don't, don't cut do that, that out <laughs> Sure. Don't do that. Like you actually have to be in tune with the music. And I mm. asked you, I think that day, that was I, I asked I you, do you mm. produce do you I asked you, you produce your own music. You're like, ah, if you start producing, that's the end. You're not going to I'm I sure you don't, don't even remember. Anybody. Exactly. You don't even remember we had a conversation. Literally, I don't remember. some minutes mm. before we before that thing happened, mm-hmm. I, I asked you that that you produce your music. You said no. Ah, if you once you start producing, I'm not going to be working to anybody. That's uh, right. That's right. I'll be kind and you, man. That's crazy because at the end of the day, mm. you don't have to produce music to know what you want. Oh, at all. Really? And I don't think some artists have gotten to the point where they know that like mm. it's not you are producing, producing that you are doing that you are exactly do- it's what the producer give you you work take. With. <laughs> exactly so I just wanted to point that out that somebody that was can so send me twenty five beats pack I will not like one real now and I'm not supposed to I'm sorry I hurt your feelings <laughs> I don't feelings, like, but, like you, I'm, bro I, I, it's not where I'm at right now like Feel the thing me. is like if, if a producer wants to work with me and I'm telling this to anybody who is sending me emails that I've not responded to bro honest to God the best way to work with me is eye to eye face to face because you can never understand the type of attitude what the vibe I'm on that day yeah. until we are talking 
you understand? Mm-hmm. The chord you play and all of that depends on how I'm feeling and yeah. what I'm trying to create. Are you happy? Are you feeling dark? Are you feeling It's excited? rare for me to make a song to a beat. Mm. It's very rare. You always like to be a part of the music. I always like to, be, even if I want to record it, I want the producer to be, be seated. Mm. Do you understand? You know, I, that's, that's how I like to work. And that's so funny because literally, how many days ago was I talking to somebody? The person said the opposite. Like, yeah, they like, like to, to work run. on their own. Yeah. I've heard that Uma, like, Umali is the type of person that... Are you serious? He, he, I don't know, see, I don't no, know. he doesn't even seem like that. Sure. Yeah. There are some people that are very recluse yeah. when it comes to making, making their They will take the idea, go somewhere and come back to meet you. Just that. Mm-hmm. I used to do that before, but I think the day I switched up was the day I saw Oxlade working. This was in mm. 2018. The first time I saw Oxlade record. So, I know Jabi had been talking for a while. Ojabi liked the covers I was putting out mm. on Instagram told me to pull up yeah. to their house in Suede. I was there. And Oxlade was... That's the first time I met Oxlade. Mm-hmm. And they were in the studio. This guy. We say, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. <laughs> record me, record me. They just stand up. <laughs> they can go on. They can repeat that beat for six minutes. <laughs> and they will go straight. <laughs> they will cut. He will sit down. Hmm, record me, record me. Stand up. Done now. <laughs> They can take like eight, nine, seven, eight, ten, eleven takes, takes, yeah, and now start looking for each vibe. And now, do you understand? Mm. That's somebody that's just seeing what they feel, feel from their soul. Like anywhere it's coming from. Like before then, I used to be pen and paper. Mm-hmm. Oja, Oja was not telling me that, bro, this thing, they your mouth. Just speak. No put gates <laughs> for the, like, Real. just like, Yana Mazibi. Do you understand? If you no come out as something we make sense, and that's and so it, funny because I think that's one thing that is going to really show on the pro, on your new album. Mm-hmm. Like you were really just talking your shit. Like anyhow, it is. If you like, I take is, it. I is, <laughs> <laughs> anyhow, like it those. is. And I had I had pointed this out to my cousin because I leave my cousin like mm. my cousin and I really together. Mm. And so when I'm blasting music, he's always mm. asked us to fight. Mm. <laughs> so I had pointed that like the songwriting is incredible. Like he doesn't. He's just going. He doesn't even care. <laughs> like, I, I, I feel like. He's if, just going down to the delivery. I used to tell when when we were um, mixing. So the so there are two albums with you. Yeah, pretty much. The second one sometimes. Um, I was supposed to be out this year as a single, but I just feel like the idea was too grand. So yeah. So I want to make it an album. album. And I'm keeping it to myself. But when I was when I sent it to somebody to mix, I told him see. I don't want to be hearing anything that sounds too mechanical or anything. Mm, like I want the Let it vocals. sound like a conversation. I want to mm. I want to seem like I'm sitting next to the person. I want the person to feel like I'm sitting next to them mm. speaking in their ear. Fair enough. Do you understand? So I don't <clears throat> I want people that listen to my music to know and understand that I'm just a normal dude. Real. Do you understand? And that's all that's important. Like I'm not trying to fake anything to you. Just I am yourself, me. Man. At the bar blue code like every other person. <laughs> Do you understand? I, think, man, and, I guess like, that's probably why I just connect so deeply with your music because like it's like it's just it's real. Like I'm not I'm not there's no fake so, even at some point you just switch it from like speaking English to speaking your right. Who cares? Yeah, like, if you don't, yeah. <laughs> sorry, man. And like, it's so cool. I think that's know, so I, interesting. I, I I try my best to always make things sound as real genuine organic as they real. can. Do you understand? If even if I coughed in this thing and I'm like, ah, feel it, feel it, feel it, leave it, it. Leave it. <laughs> you get me? But because y- you can never really go back to a moment, mm. and I've I've heard Tyler the creator say say this before. Fair enough. He said, um, "There's this song. I don't know the song. I'm not like the biggest yeah, Tyler the creator, but it was like, ah, that the song is pretty much. He was seated in the corner of the studio mm. with the mic. He did not know." Either they knew it was on or he did not know it was on. Mm. But the mic was on and he freestyled the song. The exact take with the room ambience and noise up and down is what he released. Are you serious? Like you said, you really can't... You can't, you can't go, go back, back to the moment. To you can't go Do you back understand? To time, Proud. We lost Proud's... This, Prime got robbed. Oh, I used to shit. I used Prime got robbed in 2019. 2019. <clears throat> and we could not find Proud's stems but... Thankfully enough, I'm somebody that likes to soft mix his demos okay. before leaving the studio. Are you serious? Yeah. So mm. it was, you know, still listenable as an MP3. And when when he got lost, I'm, 
Me and Prime knew how special that song was. And mm. we were talking, she, we will come guys, we record that and do everything again. It was like, bro, we cannot. Me, I cannot I do it. I can't create that. We mastered the MP3 from that session, mm. the way it is, and put it out. And Proud is my biggest song. Yeah. Digitally, yeah. today. Do you understand? That's and incredible. You know, that just tells you, don't you overthink really something. Can't. If you believe in an idea. Oh, that's actually so funny that you mentioned that. <laughs> I, I swear this is actually so funny mm-hmm. actually because there was this episode that we filmed I don't want to say the episode mm-hmm, because if, mm-hmm. you, if you go to my thing you probably know what I'm talking about I didn't want to release it mm. I was so sure I'm, I don't I clearly probably remember this but I didn't want to release it it was so I was just like yeah it's not good enough I wasn't into it I wasn't feeling it I didn't like it Bimi was like don't just put it out man like what was the worst that, that could <laughs> like I was so sure I was not putting this thing out. I was like, okay, you know what? I came to the studio. I collected my files. I was with, I sat on it for a long time. I mm. I just wasn't even using it for anything. I just, you know what? At some point, I was like, you know what? To put it up. Egba. I think I have about 30,000 views on that on particular that video. Imagine. And that's, that's probably, my, it's just crazy. Like, sometimes, like you said, don't, don't overthink don't overthink something. It's like, you can never that's go so to that moment. Th- the same thing happened to one of my friends. Mm. Amy, Amy Okoli. Mm. We were talking about something. The video has one million views. She didn't want to put the I video did. out. So <laughs> it's one random as t- um, real that it was like four seconds or five seconds. But mm. she didn't like it. And she put it I don't even know. Which, I think she reposted it on her story. And she said something or her, on her private or something. I can't remember, but I saw it somewhere. And it was just so funny. Like the video has one million That's views. That's insane. For no reason. <laughs> and she like, did, like, she was I, like, man, I, life is not I feel real. Like, I feel like Loki, eh, we don't know. But like human beings, like, unintentionally we connect to things that seem like they were not planned yeah we can tell subconsciously mm. like consciously you don't know mm-hmm. that oh maybe this is why I'm, i yeah. appreciate this so much so much but there is something about genuinity that can just shine it's obvious you, yeah like, you know? like we were talking about earlier like closer yeah if oxide knew that closer was going to be different like if it's colors <laughs> <laughs> like, obviously you now i've spoken to him about it. we've spoken about it yeah like, it's Bro. so obvious. Like I haven't even spoken to him, and I already know that. Oh no, my! Oh no, at that, any time, I, at any time, anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, because you so don't, man, you just don't just take think life about as it. Comes and just, just do, do your things thing. as per how and you do your, become your mind. Always be your best. Mind. Always Into be your everything. best for for sure. Always. People say you will. Person go they do half ass work. Come talk say the as I do. Joe, we so bad. I didn't say that. So. Yeah. Let's you know? talk about the album. Okay. I'm excited. I really can't wait for the world to hear it. Yeah. So, just in case, because some people might be confused. One who is listening to two albums. <laughs> yes, I'm listening to two albums. <laughs> but <laughs> the one that is dropping this year is a different one. Yeah. Know, it's the, it's the first so, there's one. one that I got last year, at mm. the ending of last year. And there's yeah. one that I got like a month ago, a few yeah. days ago. A, a few days ago is the one, one that is that dropping is this year. Coming out. Um, that is a very exciting album, and I can't wait for the world to hear Yeah, it. yeah, man. Like, um, I don't know what to say, man. It's, it's, because it's beautiful. <laughs> the album, I knew I wanted to make, create an album. I had the songs, I knew, I knew the idea I was going for and the story I was trying to tell. But how it was going to come out, I had no idea. Mm. So, I just stacked all my ideas together, recorded this, recorded that, you know. Um, but I knew the emotion I needed. Yeah. And it was exactly, I think it, it's come out exactly how I want. Because if, they, I'm talking about people on that, on that project. Mm, I like know. There, there are I, specific, I know. <laughs> there are specific stories <laughs> in, like, well, anyway, obviously, uh, we're storytelling and it, it's, it's cohesive as one story. You might you might yeah. feel like it's one woman. Yeah, I thought everything. it was one woman as well. Obviously, it's supposed to seem, <laughs> seem like, like one, one woman. woman. You know? It is one woman, but there are experiences from different people there. Fair enough. You understand? Um, um, because all of them, some of them songs pass one. But it's, <laughs> it's going to be on other projects. I'm going to bring your own yeah. Yes, I'll bring your own yeah. But, but like, <laughs> You know, my last relationship. Yes, I've been in a relationship. FYI. But in that Sinofi you know, Bimi video, you say you've not been in a relationship. Abi? Never mind. You know what's carrying <laughs> <laughs> I've, I, I have... I haven't been in many. Fair enough. I've more... I've, I've had more... I like somebody. It's mm. not reciprocated energy. Most of my life. I feel like my glow up was slow. 
mm. first of all. So I understand the now the babes that you know are not feeling me is fine. But jokes on you. <laughs> but anyway, my last I'm relationship dead. my last relationship though. Um, you know, I tried my best for everything. Um, she's most likely going to watch this podcast. I'm not scared to let you know that. <laughs> I did really. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not scared to let you know that. Yeah, on that album, yeah, actually, the song that is directed at you is the last one. Of the album. I, do you know the crazy part? Yep. I was, I was to say, is it the last one? It is. It's the last one. I mentioned your name. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I say you are so unacceptable. I, I mean, like, but man, that's the whatever. art. But you need to understand that it's not bad blood, honestly. Because if you really deep what I'm saying, I'm just telling you that like this, this you know, it is what it is, and, and, and it know, is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, and you know, I wish you well. You feel me? So, mm. um, that's at least one <laughs> side of it. <laughs> Everybody can get to digest the other stories Fair. and all of that, but. I don't think the other people, the only reason why, you know, I'm even speaking about it being directed at her is because it was actually a full fledged, oh, I like you relationship, mm. you know, my boyfriend, girlfriend type yeah. thing. Most of all the other people, no, no it just was just vibes. You know, <laughs> vibes and them fucking me over and um, yeah. shit like that. So yeah. it is what it is. Fair enough. That's really cool. I can't. I can't believe everybody's going to understand what we're talking, <laughs> yeah, talking about. Because sure. like, now it's we're, just like, we're we're just do your we're own. We're soon. We're soon. We're soon. I swear, soon, soon, soon. What's your all-time favorite Olada for song? Mine is Priceless. <laughs> you <laughs> had to just come out. <laughs> hey, Priceless. Priceless was... No, you, Priceless you know, is a priceless song. You know, right? you know, you were, we were talking about songs that oh, wake up in the morning. Priceless was my... I, would, I wouldn't necessarily say I would listen to it in the shower, but if I was feeling down, mm. Priceless was a song that, like... You could always go back. You know, go back to to make me happy. Yeah, I feel like that's how it is for me as well. Just like, and it's very, it's a very happy song. Um, but my all time favorite song. I feel like I'm going to lean towards songs that let's lean towards songs that are out. Mm, yeah, 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 songs that are out. Fine is mm, your favorite. My yeah. favorite for now. For now. Because I think maybe after fine it's probably maybe you know if it be me. Mm. Yeah, I Proud, think probably used to be my favorite, but you know. Time has passed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? I feel like every think, if you ask I me think, next two months now, I forget it. Right? I think Priceless is just so it's just so special. It's just a I, special song. Priceless was like, a song that was made in the day. Like, like just leave it, it alone. It was a mood of that day, and you know, I was like, man, it was just mad. And As and Shamesy was on my energy. Like, Are you serious? We the, the the way we just linked that day. <laughs> It was just crazy. Priceless. Now that that take bit, I'm like, just saying lamba. The, like it's not, it doesn't even <laughs> it's make playful. sense. It doesn't make any sense. But it but makes so much stuff, sense. They but it still so makes much. so much sense, like cohesively. Like you know, if you um, if you if you don't treat me right, kick your wheel. Next <laughs> door. You get <laughs> me? Like, like but fine. Just... I think I've said this somewhere else too. Fine, I've made that song because one of the girls that I may be throwing. I don't see. Does that girl have a song on the album? She does not. <laughs> but she does have some songs. <laughs> But she today she might not know it's about her. Fair. It's not about my ex. So. Um, something happened and I just felt like I was being disrespected and taken for granted. Mm. My energy is being wasted in this place. But I still feel bad for her. In a way that I felt bad. Me, I see my I'm a prize, man. Like real. Who gives, everybody who gives a S. You feel <laughs> me? Like everybody should have that mentality for sure. Yeah. Um, but I felt bad for her in the sense that. I felt like she was challenging, channeling her energy into things that were derogatory for her mm. down the line. And I'm honest to God, I'm right. <laughs> because two years have passed and I can see what, where she's at, how she looks. She used to be a lot more attractive than she is now. Mm. I don't know what happened. I knew because like it was, it was so bad that I asked her, like, what's going on with you? Like, I'm right. really trying to be, you know, here for you. Like, what's, what's really up? like happening, you know? And, you know, she was being reluctant. She said, yeah, that she did admit that stuff was going on, that she wasn't even talking to her best friend about mm. it and stuff like that. Anyway, one thing later on, I, I just felt disrespected and, like, I was wasting my energy somewhere. I deleted her number. I, like, I just got pissed off. And, I like, at 7 p.m., I just told my parents, because I was, we were still at Ejibu, before, I, I'd moved, before I, I had moved out of the house. I ran to Shamesy's side, Jack on the... James, Shamesy said, don't move out now. <laughs> so... 
we just sat down. I was like, he didn't know I was in a bad mood. I just said, bros, wait in the sub. Let us see what I just did. <laughs> Immediately, Chimsy played. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We were finding vibes. It was still like around like 1 30 or 2 a.m. that I found the hook. I was like, fine, girl, open your eyes. Open your eyes like you are like. What is your problem? What's the issue? <laughs> What's the issue? <laughs> you feel me? Open your eyes, fine girl. Like, you're wasting away. Mm. That's what I think. And I feel like, you know, people settle for places that do not value them. Really? And do not value their person. And you don't understand that if, if, if gold stays with shit enough, it will, it will stay. It will stay, I feel you. You feel me? So, but it is what it is. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's really interesting, actually. Very mm. nice, nice conversation. I enjoyed mm. this. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so mm. you already know that I'm a fan. I, you guys will be fans because I'm a friend. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for the world to fucking see you shine. Thank you. Like, Thank you, man. Like, I need, really, you know, yeah. I just want to be saying that I said it. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, can't man. wait to brag. Like, like I, I really can't wait for all the because I've been quiet. Mm. I've been quiet for, for a, a while. Bit. For a bit. And and I I you know people would think, oh, I don't know what people are thinking. <laughs> I, because I, I do think, you know, there, some people have their own opinions as yeah. to waiting on what I have, mm. what I'm sitting on. But I tweeted something like once I start, I'm not stopping There's because no stopping. I'm sitting on so, so much, much. Mat material. Like, Do you understand? He's actually sitting on so so much beautiful music, man. You like, so it's like it's just unacceptable. Like, I'm like you could just be like, say this boy, come. I never even chill. <laughs> you get me? But like, I'm so happy and I'm so geared up and because I feel like if I drop these songs at a different time in my life, I, I may have not understood myself enough yeah. to be able to express it to mm. the audience. Do you get me? But the time is right. So. Yeah, fair, fair. Let's go. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So lock in your socials. All right. What's good, guys? My name is Ola Akpo, a.k.a. Ola with the most. Um, and I'm an Afrofusion song guy. Right blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you can follow me on all my socials at Ola Akpo Official. Everywhere. Ola Akpo, O-L-A-D-A-P-U Official. You know how to spell that. So yeah. Thank you guys Bless for up, watching guys. another Thank episode you. with my fave Ola Akpo. And I'll OMG. see you very Again. soon. Again. Follow on you. Yeah, follow me. Follow go, okay. Follow me, okay? <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.